Hi guys, in this video, we're going to calculate the ages of these people in SQLite. This is an SQLite database. We have here a table called people born and it has two fields, name and birth date. And the application I'm using to access this uh, SQLite database is called DB Browser for SQLite. And now in this database, we wish to add a further field, which is called age. And in it, the age should be calculated. Now, why would you do that? Why not simply create a new field and, you know, just input the ages? How hard can that be? Well, hard it is not, but the problem with ages is that they change every year. So if you, I mean, we only got six people here, but what if I got like 60,000 people? I cannot go every year and update the ages. I cannot even go like, you know, every day. Oh, this guy's to birthday today. Let me update his age. This would be very silly. That's why stuff like ages, these get calculated by the database because every time you open the database or every time you call the database, that age changes depending on the year you're calling that data. And that's exactly what you need. If I'm calling that data today in 2020, uh, these guys should be like, this guy should be what, 46 years old or not yet, 45 years old, and so on, you know, and when I, when I call that uh, data, uh, you know, in two years, that guy should be then two years older, and that age should reflect that. That's why we calculate stuff like that. Now, how do we go about it? Well, let's, let's, let's go very simple. If I'm, if I'm telling you the guy's born 74, how old is he? What, what do you do? What do you do mentally? Well, you take, you, the first thing you do is like, what year have we got now? I've got today's year. Today's year is 2020. This guy is born in 1974. So 2020 minus 1974 gets us uh, 46. Okay. And so on. So let's try that out. First of all, let's, and the way you do that in SQL Lite database, you do that in SQL. So we go over here to SQL and we build just, let's build a simple select statement. Select, and let's put the fields that we got name. And the second field was uh, birth date and the table is called people born. So birth date, birth date, and then from, let's go caps, from people born. Okay. And yeah, great. Let's call it. And uh, oh, I misspelled birth date. Right. Right. We got what we need. Now, uh, let's, let's go and calculate the age the way we said, like year of today and so on. So how do I get year of today? You know, how do I get this 2020? Well, there's a function called uh, date. And in it, you can put a parameter. And the parameter we need is date now. You put now in single quotes and if you call that now we have now uh, today's date you can see 2020 0430 great but we don't need the whole date I just need the year of today how do I go about that well you need a second function which is called string f string time strf time open parent what do you need the year well you enclose that in single quotes and you, uh, for years, you say percent capital Y, very important, capital Y, close single quotes, comma, date of today, and then let's go. So what that means, what that means is that I need, I don't need the whole date. I just need the year of now. Okay. And similarly, if you just, if you also need the month, then you go and say M, small m, that would be the month of now. And if you need the day, of now, so you just put a small d. So now what we got is this one gets you the 2020. This one gets you the 04, basically for April. And this one gets you the 30 for the 30th. And let's just run that. And there you go. So we got 2020. That's the year of today. That's the month of today. And that's the day of today. So now it becomes, I think, pretty obvious. I mean, if I need to calculate the birthday, then... All I got to do is basically uh, take that and minus, but not of now, but of birth date. So copy that and take now out 
and put birthday. Because birthday is a field, you don't need to enclose that in uh, single quotes. And uh, let's, let's comment that stuff out. Right. And go. So now we already got a primitive age calculation. And uh, this guy is, it is partially correct. However, this guy is, for instance, not 41 yet. Now we still, we haven't reached August yet, so this guy is still 40. How do we cater for such cases? And, um, and the other thing is, how do I get, I don't, this is not, an, this is not a nice uh, field name. Well, the field name can be easily uh, remedied with as, and just call it age. So now the field name will not be this whole lot, but basically that. And if you run it now, you should get, you should get the uh, age. There you go. So that looks much cleaner than before. Right. But how do I remedy these scenarios now? Now, what, what are these scenarios? Well, basically here it is. It is. We need a condition. Now, how do you build conditions in, in SQLite? Well, uh, let's comment that out because that's our old formula. Let's do a new one here, and we start conditions start with case and end with and as and we call that field age so let's keep that name so case what well first condition is what when when what well when the month of today is greater than the month of birth date Let's copy birth date, you know, avoid spelling mistakes. When the month of today is greater than the month of birth date, so if we're in April and you're in February, then what? Well, then you've aged one year. So basically that formula would be correct. Uh, and the word then, obviously. So basically when today's month is greater than your birth month, then we've already passed your birthday and you have aged one year. So basically it's today's year minus your birthday. And the second condition would be what if it's smaller? What if today's month is smaller than your birth month for instance here this guy is in august and we're still in april so his birthday has not come up yet so then he's today's year minus his birth year minus one because he has not he's not aged yet right so that looks better than before and if we run that now you see this guy is 40 which is right once, he, once, once we are uh, beyond or on the 12th of August and beyond, this guy will be 41. This guy is also just 33. He has not become 34 yet. This guy, however, has become 36. And this guy here has, will tomorrow become 46. Has not become 46 yet because we have not reached the 1st of May yet. Right. And these guys, they're not being calculated. Why? Why? Because we're not covering them. We're catering for anything bigger than today's month for any months for any birth months bigger than today's month or any birth month smaller than today's month we're not catering for anybody born in april so we gotta cover these guys as well and the way you let's put a third condition let's copy that one and put an equal and don't forget the word then so now what? Well, here it becomes a bit complicated because if you're born in April, then I need a second condition. When are you born in April? Let's say if we are today on the 17th of April. If you're born before the 17th, yeah, then you've aged. Your birthday is passed and you become one year older. If you are born after the 17th of April, after today's month, after today's date, a day, then you haven't aged yet. And exactly this is what, what, what we have to do here. So basically we put another case. Let's tab in case. Now case what? In this case, when, 
and now we're calling the day when the day of now is greater or equal so basically and let me finish that and i can explain that and of your birth date so if the day of today is greater than the day of your birthday then your birthday is passed and obviously we can take this uh, formula okay otherwise so else well then you have not aged yet and then that's why you are this formula minus one and then here this case has also got to be ended so now what we're saying if your month if today's month is bigger than your birth month okay you've aged your birthday is gone you become one year older if you're equal okay let me check your day if you if, if your birthday is if, sorry if today's day is greater than your birthday greater or equal then you're very age so basically if today's your birthday you become a year older as well that's why the greater or equal otherwise well you haven't aged yet and uh, you got a minus uh, your age you know today's year minus your birthday minus one and if you're obviously if, if your month has not been reached yet well you're still obviously you haven't aged either so now we got that's basically the birthday calculate uh, the age calculation if we run that there you go now you see you can see it here pretty good that guy's born on 29th is and you look at these they're all born the same year just different days and they're just born they're just born in subsequent days so this guy is 46 hasn't aged yet uh, sorry this guy's aged his, his birthday is gone this guy's birthday today is also aged but this guy's birthday is tomorrow has not aged if i open that database tomorrow or if i call that query tomorrow he will have a 46 as well and that's that's the that is the beauty of having such a calculation that age is always up to date you don't have to worry about it anymore